Now, a French supermarket chain has introduced chit-chat checkouts into 150 of its stores. Carrefour follows Dutch chain Jumbo in introducing the slow lanes in an attempt to combat uh, loneliness, especially amongst elderly shoppers. Let's turn to Harry Mount, editor of the Oldie magazine, to reflect on this one. Harry, uh, pleasure talking to you. It's nice to have you on the show. Hello, Colin. Um, Hello. I, uh, hi. Um, I, I absolutely, I'm, get deeply frustrated when, when, when I'm in a checkout queue, uh, avoiding the robotic checkouts in the hope of talking to a real human being, having a chat, uh, and I try and have a chat, and I often find it's often men uh, tut-tutting behind me to, to, because they see it as an entirely transactional activity, not a moment for a, to be gassing. Well, it's probably me standing behind you in the queue, Colin, <laughs> because I'm one of those grumpy, silent men who would love a non-chat queue. I'm one of those men who stand with their wallet in one hand, credit card already out in the other hand, so I can get through as quickly as possible. So these chatty queues sound like hell, unless they filter out chatty people like you into one queue, <laughs> then us grumpy, misanthropic people like me can go into the silent, super quick queue. Eight million people in this country now, Harry. Eight million people live alone. Every little helps, as some supermarket chain once said. Yeah, I can see that's true. And if you're, if you're a chatty, friendly person, that, that those little interactions in the day, I mean, I must admit, even I felt it during lockdown, the lack of social interaction was very bad for all of us. But the difference is between, say, chatting to someone at a party and chatting to someone when you're holding up somebody behind you, as you seem to do, Colin. And, um, and that is, is agony for misanthropic people like uh, me. And, and it is normally grumpy males. You've got the who, automated um, who, checkout, who very Harry, no. You, you, you need to have no human interaction at all. You just head straight for the automated checkout. Well, well, exactly. Well, that might be the answer. Then you'll have one half of the supermarket with people chatting away and the other half with men going through at top speed. In fact, there is a famous Simpsons sketch some years ago with Marge and Homer Simpson going to the supermarket. One queue has lots of men on their own. The other one has one chatty woman. And Homer says, go for the queue with the men in it. It'll go much <laughs> more quickly. And the men go, while the lady is still chatting. <laughs> But Harry, Harry, sorry, it's Kathy batting in. Don't you think this whole hello. digital thing, hello, is dehumanising? I mean, we have to have interaction. Not everyone gets invited to parties, you know, Harry. You might be one of the lucky ones. And if you yeah. take away human contact, you take away any human interaction. Actually, it doesn't matter if it's supermarkets, banks, wherever. You lose a little bit of humanity along the way each time, don't you? Of understanding yeah, well, each I, other, yeah, treating each I, other as human beings. Between the different forms of interaction. And so I completely agree that it's humans are social creatures. And it's not just lockdown, but even before that, computers, dreaded mm. phones have destroyed so much of that pleasant yeah. interaction. And I think I imagine we're all feeling this now. Thank God the restrictions are gone. It's wonderful to but, see people in the flesh. But, but as long as you're not holding up somebody behind you. But no, we have to hold up. You have to put up with the somebody behind you because if you give in to that and do that, we all are just little automatons doing that and we become an, we, we stop being able to communicate with anybody. You, that's the price we have to pay for humanity, in my view. This is my little debate with you. Oh, I've got the perfect answer. I so hate shopping like many males that I do practically all my shopping online. I do my supermarket shopping online. When the nice guy comes from Tesco's to my flat, I love having a chat with him because you know it's just it's an isolated transaction. You can chat away to him. You're not holding up anyone. You're trying um, to be in control all the time. time. So it's about chatting in isolation. It's about control. Oh, Christ. I, Harry, I do apologize. I, no, I had no idea this one was going to get spiky. That's that's Cathy <laughs> yes. for you. Harry Mayer. Probably very, very, very probably about control. And it is striking how, if I, if I dare say, there is a gender difference on this. Women basically being nicer than men. They prefer to have a chat. chat. Uh, men amen, being amen, these amen. more simple creatures <laughs> don't go in for chatting so much. Harry Mount is the editor of the Oldie magazine. If you've never read it, I recommend it very strongly to you. And we appreciate his time today uh, and uh, putting up with some of Cathy's interventions. Sorry.